It's been almost a month now since I've been by myself. It's hard staying motivated every day when I have no one on my side to pick me up when my head tilts. It makes me really think if this is all worth it. I've gained nearly a million people that follow me on this journey, but the people who mean the most to me, my friends and family, they all turn their backs on me. I can't blame them. I'm almost happy they did because now, no one will be in danger besides me. Not only that, but I can move much quicker and easier without the baggage of comrades who may have a different view than me. It saves my stress levels and I'm able to function at 100% without worrying about protecting people around me. I only have myself to worry about. I speak as if this is an easy lifestyle, but loneliness is the deadliest disease. My heart aches at the memories of smiles and laughs with my loved ones. I yearn the day that I can be welcomed to a home full of love after a long day. No matter how bad things have ever seemed before, I overlooked the fact that coming home and laying in a warm bed with food will always wash away the pain. Instead, now all I have is the deafening sounds of my thoughts and nighttime crickets. My day never ends. There is no relaxing, no time off, no warm soup or a movie to watch. No one to my left or right to hold me when I want to break down. This is why loneliness is deadly. Because I have no one to hold me. No one to tell me everything is going to be okay. My thoughts become dangerous and there is no one to set me straight. I will continue to drown in my own sorrow and silk in a pit of painful memories with no one here to cure me. The only cure in this accursed world is the love of people around you. They can fill that void in your heart. But what if no one is around you? The void will continue to grow into a black abyss until I'm consumed by the evil in this world. Will this loneliness turn me evil? All I ever wanted was to fight against the evil, but the evil is consuming me before I even realized it. It's so much more than what the eye can see. I walked directly into a spiritual warfare with no armor. I lost before I even began. I'm depressed, lonely, hungry, and there is no sign of the cure of love. He's willing to fight toe-to-toe, -to -toe, looking into the face of evil. I've never seen him give up on anything he set his mind to, and this time it happens to be bigger than just his dreams. He has people counting on him, not just me and you, people that don't even know his name. He has millions of lives in his hands. He couldn't give up if he tried, even if it killed him. His heart will live on forever in this war that he started. And for the people that do know his name, they will follow him. That's how he is. He goes in head first so confidently, it makes it impossible to not believe in him. <laughs> it's scary. That's why I fell in love with him. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ashley. I've lost. I'm going to go
How, how much money does he owe you? How much money does he owe you? Fuck are you? I, I'm trying to help out, okay? No, I don't care. I, I'll, pay you, I'll pay you the money. How much I money? I don't need your help. 500,000. <sighs> Bro, get out of here. What let's, you doing? You saw nothing, all right? I'm going to... I just like, leave him be and I'll pay you the money, okay? Bro, nobody wants you here. Get out of here, bro. Please, just let him be. Oh, yo, this dude's a hero, huh? Right. He's a hero. You want to be a hero, dude? You want to be a hero? Oh, this guy here to save the day, eh? You know, maybe if this was another world, yeah, we could be friends, but uh, in this world, it's eat or be eaten, and you're too nice. Oh, dude, what the hell? Dude, you just shot him, dude. Yo, yeah, I just dude, shot him? You just shot him. Let's get the guy out of here. Bro, he saw too much. He saw too much. Just get the guy. Just get the guy. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. My body feels so cold, but the pool of blood I'm laying in feels so warm. It's like grandma warmed up my blanket to wrap around my frail body on a brisk Christmas morning. Though I'm dying, or maybe I'm already dead, the only thing I can do is let it be. I wanted so badly to stop being alone and depressed. I wanted so badly to end my life in order to stop the pain not only in myself, but the pain I've caused to the people around me. Seconds before I took my own life, my brain puked out a bunch of reasons why I should stay alive. But it's like my body automatically went to survival mode, even though I no longer wanted to be alive. Seconds before I jumped, I was happy. I was so, so happy that I was interrupted by the sound of other people arguing. I thought there was a God-sent moment to spare my life. I was disrupted before I leaped off the top of my hometown bridge. I knew it. There really is a God and there is a reason he wants me to live. Huh. The irony in that, my head met a bullet instead of the cement underneath the railroad tracks. I guess this was fate all along. I guess this God moment wasn't really God. Maybe God was all a facade in the first place. Or maybe, maybe this is God striking me dead for being ungrateful for my life. Either way, if there is by chance anyone in the clouds that can hear me, I was wrong and I'm so scared right now. I've made a permanent decision because of a temporary circumstance. I'm so scared to die. I don't want to die. 
I'm sorry, God, I never understood what or who you are, and I just didn't know where to even begin. I took things into my own hands, and now look where it led me. In a pile of my own blood. Dead. And nothing to leave behind. God, please forgive me. Sometimes, no matter how scared you are, no matter how tired, and no matter how much you want to go to sleep and wake up like it was all a dream, you just have to bite the bullet and stand high with your chin up. Do what you have to do for the ones you love. Suffer now and be happy later. Otherwise, you'll always live in fear. Stand up. You have a purpose. Stand up. Take my hand. I'm here to help you. Stand up. God? God, is that you? Why are you speaking to me? Why choose me?